What's up? Uh, we're in the hotel room right now. I am carb depleted. I had carbs yesterday and felt good. And then now I'm on zero carb for today and tomorrow. Uh, I've been sleeping pretty much all day. After a day of travel, I feel like dog shit. Uh, I barely can keep my eyes open, but this is part of the game. I just want to show everybody like how close to the edge you got to get, you know, to uh, achieve the level of conditioning that you know is required to win. Uh, you know, at this level, uh, eating no carbs is not fun. You know, you know it's for like one day. It's just like a big drastic cut down from what I'm used to. You know, being the fact that I flew out by myself. You know, I got the rental car. Everything in the South moves so slow. You know, maybe even New Jersey. I was getting all antsy and shit. Yeah, you know, waiting on the line. And the person in South Carolina was just like, Hi, how are you? I'm like, just give me the damn car. And so I drove two hours up. Uh, checked in for the show, waiting at 2.15, which is exactly the same as last year. But, you know, I'm twice the size, twice the conditioning, so... You know, it's a definitely an improvement. You know, I don't go by numbers, so it's going to be a much different look uh, than it was last year. Uh, so I'm very excited for that. I just wanted to get the show on the road. I'm here to win. You know, I'm not really focused on, you know, the junk food or anything like that. I'm focused on the bodybuilding food that I'm needed. And I'll figure all that good stuff out after, but, you know, it's not really my focus. I'm, I'm starving. I'm napping between meals just because I'm so hungry. Basically, and then tomorrow, you know, I have three coats of tan scheduled, so I got to go get that done. So once that goes on, hopefully we'll wake up a lot drier than I am now, which I am pretty dry right now. So, you know, I, I, I am definitely very confident going into this, um, this competition to where I'm at right now. So hopefully you guys can see me... Uh, take down uh, you know the overall right, let's stay tuned what's up everyone checking in from my hotel room it is Friday evening it's about 9:45. Uh, I got three coats of tan on probably gonna get one more put on tomorrow morning uh, before pre-judging uh, energy is better today than it was yesterday I've been no carb all day um, I actually am going to have my first carb meal in since Wednesday. I'm going to have it in 15 minutes. It's just going to be 1.5 cups of rice, uh, some ground beef. And then before bed, I'm going to have a uh, steak from Longhorn, uh, some beef and bacon sliders and some rice and some pretzel sticks, actually. Uh, Matt Porter told me, I'm, you know, I'm lean enough that I can have a dense meal like that. You know, it should put me to bed. It should be nice and full by the morning. Uh, I'm not drinking any water right now. Uh, I cut that out 6 p.m. today. Like I said, it's 9.45 now, so it's been three hours of no water. Prior to that, I loaded three gallons. So I woke up like, I think I woke up like 6 or 7 in the morning. Uh, started, I drank three gallons before 6 p.m. So you have to actually try to do that. And then... Um, you know, basically shut it off abruptly. You know, the body still looks for the water intake that it's not getting after six o'clock and that's when you start peeing it out. Of course, the carbs introduced, that they help dry you out a little bit. So it should be a whole new look by, by uh, tomorrow morning. You know, I'm eager, I'm ready to go. You know, I look my best. I'm ready to test my best against, you know, the, the national level again. Um, hoping for a better outcome than last year. I think that we'll definitely get that. All right, peace. What's up, guys? G6 checking in here. Post show two weeks. Uh, tan is worn off. We're back in the office. Well, I was back in the office two days after the show. Um, you know, you got to get back to work. Um, so I just want to go over, you know, where I'm at right now. Basically, I'm about 10 pounds heavier than uh, the show weight, which is pretty remarkable for, you know, any bodybuilder. It's like, 
you know, a lot of guys like blow up, but for me, I'm back on bodybuilding food. I had a good amount of cheat meals on that Sunday right after. You know, I had all cheat meals uh, that day. Um, and then I've been sporadically throwing in cheat meals as I think necessary or, you know, kind of if I want it. Uh, but for the most part, when I'm here at work, it's, you know, yams, rice, chicken, and normal stuff. I'm not going to sit here and eat pizza, you know, but if my friends want to go out, you know, for a slice of pizza, like on a weekend or something like that, yeah, I'll, I'm, I'll do that because I'm not getting ready for a contest. So that leads me to my next thing. I'm, you know, completely in off season right now. I have no plans to compete this year. I have no plans in the near future to compete. I'm trying to get a little bit of balance back in my life. Uh, I've just been dieting for so long. You know, a lot of people are like, hey, Gary, you were right there. You should go to the Junior Nationals, test the water. And I, you know, I was dieting for eight months for this show. I had no mental break from last year to this year. You know, a lot of guys, they go off season, they take some mental time off. They're not really dieting as much. I dieted the Monday after last show, and I've been going since, through Christmas, through my birthday, through Thanksgiving, you name it, Easter, St. Patrick's Day, the whole nine. I, I was bodybuilding, and you know, and this was the end result. So, uh, to, re you know, to reply and to report on the outcome of the show, I took fifth in the heavyweights, Junior USA. Uh, so, you know, I came home with that that dagger trophy. Uh, it was a, it was a, an interesting day, you know. Um, this is the first year that I achieved striated glutes, uh, feathered lower back, arguably one of the most conditioned guys in the class. Um, there was ten guys in the class, and the when I lined up, I noticed the way the guys were. There was a there was two different kinds of people in the in the lineup, but I knew that whatever the judging was going to favor based on their personal beliefs, that it can go very good or it can go very bad for me. And <clears throat> there was a, a lot of good shapely guys that were not in condition. Like they were lean, but they weren't in that crazy, crisp, psycho condition that I was in. And then there was a couple guys that were pretty lean, you know, pretty pretty crisp, everything, with some faulty structure like myself i don't have the pretty physique i got the pec tear i have a decently wide waist uh my quad sweep isn't as optimal as it could be um so i'm really playing on the fact if i could just bring a freaky lean physique and i did just that so i i wasn't sure if the judges were going to reward me um they called out the first call out i wasn't in the first call out uh, you know, I kind of, when that happened, I felt like everything deflate. Um, you know, I just, I felt like I wasted an entire year at that point, uh, to, you know, of dieting, sacrificing, you know, everything. And, uh, I tried to keep my composure on stage. Um, you know, it was, uh, it was tough. You know, I left after that, not feeling too good, but you know, you know, I was very emotional, you know, afterwards, you know, my mom was there and you know, I was really emotional uh, between shows and, you know, I kept, you know, I, I was in contact, you know, I, I saw my coach, Matt Porter and everything like that. And I was, you know, it was, uh, I stuck to the plan, basically, was what I'm trying to say is I, I carried out what I was supposed to do. I, you know, I, 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 I spoke to a lot of pro bodybuilders that, uh, you know, spoke to me and said, listen, tomorrow nobody's going to remember the guy who took first place, but they're going to remember you for the drastic improvements that you made, you know, the the uh, connection that you have to the bodybuilding community. And, and, and that kind of made me feel better, you know. Um, so basically I, you know, went back, followed through. I had a burger between the shows and I finished out. Um, you know, I knew I was probably right around sixth place at that point. When I, what we didn't realize is we were missing a person when we got in line at the finals. And it just happened that the guy who was in fifth place told the expediters and judges that if he wasn't in first place, that he wasn't coming back. And they said, you know, he knew he wasn't in first place. He did not come back to the night show. That's a disqualification. It's called do not finish, DNF. He, who was the next guy in line? Me. 
So it bumped me up to fifth. So you know what? Listen, I had myself before that. I'm not going to argue judging or anything like that. I'm not that kind of guy. It is what it is. When I saw the pictures, I had myself in, in a four to five place. So I feel that it was where I was supposed to be, just in a very roundabout way. Um, but there's something to be said about somebody who carries out the, uh, the plan till the end. I didn't miss a cardio. I didn't miss a, a meal or a training session. Everybody knows this, that that's how I handle my prep. You know, balls to the wall, hard nose, persistent, the whole nine. Um, but even so, after I was so deflated, like I lost the show, I still didn't drink water as I was instructed to. You know, I wasn't allowed to drink water. I was allowed to have certain things on my burger and certain things not. I was instructed to have, after that, bodybuilding food, chicken, uh, you know, rice, stuff like that to just keep the, maintain the look just so when I go on stage at nighttime, I don't look like a bloated mess that just ate a tub of ice cream and said, screw it, because I felt I lost the show. So I stuck to it, and it worked out because I had to perform my routine. When they told me I was going to, you know, I was in the top five after that whole debacle, I had to go on stage. I had to perform my routine. I had to, you know, be awarded the fifth place trophy. I had to be on stage on the pedestal. So, you know what? There is something to be learned from that is just you follow through to the end. When the show is done, then you can do what you want to do. But there's some honor and some, uh, you know, just doing stuff the right way. Stop. I mean, listen, I don't care if that kid's looking at, the, at this. That, that is a punk-ass move. Uh, to not show back up, that's poor sportsmanship. And you know, in bodybuilding, there's really no room for poor sportsmanship. Um, we're all trying really hard. We're all freaking killing ourselves for months on end. You stick it out to the end, you know, good things happen. Stranger things have happened in life. Uh, so honestly, after that, I was in a be much better mood. I had $35 worth of freaking homemade cookies after. Um, I didn't eat it all. I ate some of it the next morning. I, I saved some for Buffalo... So I got some room for Buffalo Wild Wings. I had a few beers. I had a Long Island. I know everybody wants to hear about all this shit because they always want to know what the post-show binge is. Um, I was not drunk from even those three drinks because I'm not that much of a lightweight. I don't care. I haven't drank in a year. Um, you know, the next morning, took my mom. We went over to Denny's, uh, you know, and uh, pretty much got your typical bodybuilder pancakes, waffles, eggs, turkey, bacon. You know, we went in with that. Um, overall though, it was a great show. I've done this show again in 2015. I did in, you know, again this year, 2016. I love it. I love South Carolina. Um, you know, I love the, the show, the way a show is run. Um, it's, it was a great experience. It could have, it, it could have went bad. You know, it's like, you're not supposed to, Evan said to Pani, always said, you're not the placing on your trophy. You are the trophy. And that is very true. You know, when the dust settled, I'm sure I would have felt better knowing that I was shredded out of my mind, but maybe the places didn't go. But you know, when you're in the heat of the moment, when you're still at the show, when you're leaving the actual venue, you're, you're in your competitive mode there. You want to, you want to conquer the stage. You want the whole show to be about you. And you know, when it doesn't go like that, it's sometimes hard to swallow in an immediate sense, but after a while, it'll set in that, you know, you did a good job and you brought the best, you know, I brought the best Gary Turner there was. And that's all that anybody can ask. There's nothing more I could have did. Nothing more I could have took. Nothing more I could have ate. No faster I could have ran uh, to get where I was. So, you know, mission accomplished.